another video, another travel day. Uh, the last one of the regular season, we're going to Philly. It is 9.30 right now. I'm making a big breakfast. We don't have any training, so we're gonna make some eggs, tater tots, a bagel, and yeah, I'll eat that. I'll show you the finished product. And then at 10 o'clock, we're gonna leave, go to the airport, and then it's on to Philly. Hopefully, flights are all good, and uh, we'll make it there on time, and we can rest before the game tomorrow. So, yeah, I will see you guys after I make breakfast, and then we'll meet get to Philly. So yeah, there's the breakfast. A uh, little omelet with tater tots and some cheddar cheese. And then got a bagel this time, put cream cheese on it, instead of peanut butter. And then two clump times for the guy to get the fruit. But yes, I know, I'm a gourmet chef, pretty great. Um, restaurant incoming maybe after the playing career. But yes, uh, that's what I'm gonna be eating right now. And then we'll leave in about 10 minutes. And then we'll be off to the airport. So yes, I will see you when we get to Philly. What's going on guys, just made it to the hotel. It is 6.04, we got a little uh, stretching mobility stuff because uh, we didn't train this morning. So we're gonna do that in about 10 minutes. Um, right now, like I said, just made it to the hotel. A uh, really weird setup, as you saw, there's like one bed and like a desk on one side and like a bed on the other side. And uh, speaking of who's gonna be staying there, uh, roommate for like probably the fourth time running, Joe Jazar, anything to say to the people? What's up guys, we in Philly, we need to get this built. Thank you, short and sweet. We do need to get a dub, really important game for playoffs. Um, Philly, they're right below us. And then next week we have Fire who are right above us and we're right at the playoff line right now. So gotta get two dubs and then we'll make him playoffs for sure. But yeah, like I said, right now we're about to go to our team walk and stretch and then mobility. So yeah, um, I'll show you guys that and then I'll talk to you guys later tonight. Peace.
What's going on? Just had our team walk stretch and then we did a little bit more uh, mobility stuff because like I said earlier, we didn't train in the morning and then we had a team meeting, good stuff there. Kind of had to get on the same page for these last couple games because they're really important to the season. It's pretty much make a break right now. And then we had a team meal and then we talked a little bit after. Team meal was good, you saw what it was. And right now I'm gonna take a shower and then edit video right now one of my baseball videos that I'm editing. Like I said in the last video, I do a part-time editing job. Um, and yeah, then I'm gonna go to sleep, maybe watch a little bit of Hunter x Hunter. That's what I'm watching right now. Uh, great series, great anime. If you haven't seen it, definitely watch it. And then, yeah, I'm gonna go to sleep. I gotta wake up fairly early in the morning. Our game is at four, so it's a little bit different than normal. But yeah, so gotta get a uh, big sleep. Important game tomorrow. Hopefully you can get a dub. And yeah, so I will see you guys in the morning. Have a great night. pre-game walk stretch had breakfast so it was pretty good and uh now i'm just editing this video and also just finished watching the formula one race i'm about to throw the chelsea game on um hopefully they can get a dub and then we can follow suit later today but yeah that's what i'm gonna be doing for right now until about 12 we have our pre-game meal and then a little bit later we'll have our pre-game meeting and whatnot and we play at four like i said so it's a bit different it's a bit earlier and then, yeah, we're gonna come back here. I might um, go to dinner with my parents and one of my boys on Philly. I'll show you that. And then that'll be the day. So yeah, I'll see you guys right before our pregame meal slash pregame meeting before we go to the game. So yeah, see you then. What's going on guys? We're back, just finished pregame meal not too long ago. It was pretty good. You saw what it was. Uh, pretty similar to dinner, but still very good. And uh, in between the time you didn't see, I was just editing my video while watching the Chelsea game and then watching the Everton Arsenal game right after. But right now I'm about to take a shower and then change it to the game day polo, this thing right here. And with the power of editing, it is on just like that. So now it's time to go down pregame meeting, last minute strategy to how we're gonna get this dub against Philly and you know get three points and increase our chances of making playoffs. So I will see you guys after the game. Enjoy the highlights. about a month and the kickoff ignites this matchup critical points on the line here today push forward into space Donovan 
Drack getting back. Takes down Donovan, and a penalty is given. And a yellow card as well. Drack in disbelief. Scored eight times this season. Jeremy Raffanello to put the Union in front. Charges forward, bangs it off the crossbar. It stays out. How does that one stay out? Hit it well, but too hard. You know, another stop and a corner kick coming. Boomeranged in, flawless finish. Neil Pierre gets Philly Union their goal in the 45th minute. Philadelphia on top, 1-0. Phil, second goal for near P Neil Pierre at six foot five. Olney, against Insa, Insa, excellent job there, and then Olney gets shown a straight red. How about that? And for the second time this season, the Union are going to be down a man against Huntsville. There it is. The 16-year-old shown a straight red card from Jeremy Shear. Has cracked the door slightly ajar for Huntsville. And now a card is coming out. And now it's a second yellow. And now we're going to go 10 v 10. Josh Drack has shown a second yellow. There's the challenge. And he comes in. Second yellow shown. Raffanello. Well timed run, well timed pass. Sullivan first time through. Storyanovich ripples the rope. The Union get a second. Philadelphia flying high. It's a 2 0 lead for the Union. Raffanello starts it. Sullivan with a second ball. Threads the needle through two, and Stoyanovic scores. In the final weekend of the regular season, control their own destiny. Liotti draws attention. Liotti curling around one. He gets taken down, and a penalty has been given, and Huntsville has a lifeline. He measures, trying to give Huntsville a chance in the waning moments. Azad Liadi pings the strings. Huntsville not done yet. Unable to do so again. And a foul whistled. And that's the final whistle. Philadelphia survives, and the Union are into the final playoff position with one match to play. After the game, after I hung out with my family, my friend Stefan, um, made it back to the hotel. About to go to sleep somewhat soon because we got to get on the bus at 5.30. But yeah, as for the game, you saw um, two red cards, one for each team. So that was interesting. Um, but we lost. It was a really important game. Now we have to win the last game and get results in our favor in order to make playoffs. So. I guess only time will tell. We'll see. Final game, final game is a home game, so I hope we can win that. And then, yeah, um, cars will fall as that as they may. So, yeah, that's really it for tonight. Um, like I said, lucky result. Hopefully, travel tomorrow is smooth though, and uh, make it back home still. So yeah, that's it. I'll see you guys when we are back at the crib. <laughs> Thank you.
two days after I recorded that video editing it right now. It's gonna be up tomorrow, which is Wednesday, as you're seeing this. Um, like I said, after the game, not the result that we needed or wanted. And now we gotta rely on Philly and New York to lose, and we have to win in order to make playoffs. So last game is this Sunday, so hopefully we can get the job done and the results go our way. If not, then unfortunately we didn't make playoffs, but yeah, so that's the situation we're in. So, yeah, I mean, it is what it is at this point. Um, but yeah, that's it for this video. If you liked it, make sure to leave a like. If you're not subscribed, go ahead, do so right now. Share with a friend, leave a comment. I uh, enjoyed replying to a lot of you guys on the last video. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.